computational engineering major is part of the Alto University bachelor program in science and technology, where all the teaching is done in English. Uh, that means that you will benefit from the experience of all of our professors who have an international background and come from all over the world. And you also get to meet other students that come from different countries, uh, really preparing you for a global job market. Is This is one of the few places in the world where you can study computational engineering at the bachelor level. So your studies in computational engineering would be based on three main pillars. So the first one, uh, you need to develop your skills in mathematics uh, because that's the main tool that we use to solve all engineering problems. That means learning about calculus, algebra and uh, statistical analysis. Second, you'll learn, for example, how heat is transferred or dissipated in a building, how gases behave, how fluid flows around a car or an airplane, or uh, also how uh, materials and, and structure deform under certain loads. And finally, you will also develop your computing skills. So that means you will learn how to program so you can code your own algorithm, uh, but you will also gain some experience on the most commonly used engineering software uh, that engineer uses every day in companies. Then we'll bring everything together through project work, for example, uh, where you apply all those skills to solve real engineering problems. That could be, for example, uh, creating a new lightweight structure. So you could use simulation to create this structure. Then you could make a prototype using our 3D printing facilities. And finally, you could test your component to see if it's behaving in the same way that you predicted with simulations. So I think if you want to be part of developing lighter airplanes, uh, more efficient car, maybe engines that emit less CO2 emissions, uh, more efficient wind turbines so we can produce more greener energy, uh, then all those fields, they require people with good computational skill, people able to use simulation to develop those new technology. And since all fields of engineering use and rely on simulation, I think it's a very bright future for uh, young students with strong computational skills.